Wow, this is a beautiful day. Just chilling in my garden. It's looking looking really nice today. Look what the fuck. Look what the look what the Easter bunny left us. Look what the Easter bunny left us. What the hell? This is really cool. Are these some challenger decks? This is amazing. Let me get this inside real quick. Really nice. What is this? I think we're just gonna leave this there. So you guys, what is up? I am Belial TCG and today I got something really special for you. It's Challenger decks. It's all four of them. It is the 2020 series of Challenger decks. We are going to open each of these up. We have a Planeswalker deck, we have a tempo mid-range control bullshit kind of adventure shit. I should, I should swear less. I'm aware of that, but I learned English from hip-hop music and fucked up TV shows, so bear with me. We have Flash of Ferocity and Cavalcade Charge. This is like kind of a control being an asshole deck and this is pretty close to the current kind of budget meta option of red deck aggro wins. And this is the one we are going with first. So let's put these to the side and just, just a quick change of playmats here because we are opening up a red deck so we have to go with this beauty. Let's fucking do this. So, Cavalcade Charge has, in my opinion, the most good cards in it, the most um, value if you kind of just want to get one deck and just play with it, you know? So, if I had to take any of these to a GP, it would probably be this one. Let's get this baby open. Oh my god, this is, this is pretty well, it's pretty well put together. What the fuck? I, need, I don't need scissors. I'm a strong person. I can do this. Oh my god. We've actually done it. This is the deck. We can just slide this out there. And what I really like is that even if you have like a rough idea of how the game is played, we have this little information text here telling you how to actually play the game and kind of telling you, yeah, this is in fact an aggro deck. Oh, damn. We have like challenger written on it. That is fucking awesome. So, let's get this up. So this is not targeted towards a beginner player who gets like these little planeswalker decks with the story on them and some shit like that. We have a divider, also with the challenger. We have a sideboard, I don't know. We have this bullshit and we have the deck. Fuck yeah. Also, my camera is running out of battery. We're back with a new battery. Let's crack into this. I'm fucking excited. Let's just get it all here. And let's see what we've got. We have the Shock Giant. Giant. Fucking amazing card. Why? Because you don't have to decide if you want to play a 4-3 creature. You don't have to decide if you want to play a Shock. You can have both. You can have both. And I fucking love that. So, we have the Bone Crusher Giant, we have the Fervent Champion, four times actually you get a play set of these. If you have like two or three of them out, they're a fucking beast. They are a fucking beast. I love it. Each one of them is beastly. So we have more Giants, we're bringing kind of a control vibe to an aggro deck, which is always nice to have. We have Steamkin. This also greatly benefits from having a lot of cheap spells, having them champions, having the giants. Each time you play a red spell, you get a 1-1 counter and you can remove three of them and just get three red mana. So this is like kind of a dark ritual kind of card. Really nice to ramp up the aggro strategies. This is Torbrun. Torbrun is a fucking beast. Torbrun is absolutely insane for the sole reason that if a red source you control would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus two instead. Each source. So the Fervent Champion you just played with his buddy that you played last turn, they are each going to attack, they are tapped, they get one plus one each 
so it's already 2-2. Two, two. And because Thorburn's out, they're 4-4 four, four now. This is insane. But it gets even more insane because you have a playset of this guy. Because you have Chandra, the Acolyte of Flame, which is so awesome that it fucks up my camera. We have Chandra, the Acolyte of Flame, which is also pretty awesome because you can make two 1-1 one, one haste elementals, which also get a lot stronger by Torbrin. You get the amazing Amber Cleave. This is the Red Fire Swoosh Swoosh Sword. Absolutely in love with this. The artwork is amazing. Thank you, Mr. Joe Slucher. Slucher? Slucherando? I'm in love. Like this is this is my favorite deck out of all of them. This is really cool. Probably gonna play lots with this. This is the Rimrock Knight. Little charging kind of gimly looking guy right there. I think I'm probably gonna gonna switch this out maybe. I'm not too sure because he's okay in draft, but in constructed, I don't know. I don't know if I want to run him. This is the Scorch Spitter, which fits amazingly well with the Torbrin strategy. And what we're going to get to later, or fuck it, this is Cavalcade of Calamity. This is a pretty dope name for a rap album and also one of the fucking strongest rat enchantments you can get out of there right now. Because each time whenever a creature with one or less, with power one or less attacks, Cavalcade deals one damage to the guy you're attacking. So you got the Scorch Spitter, you have the champion out, you have the Spitter out, you attack with each of them, so it's already two damage. No, that's a lot of damage! The Spitter deals another, another, another point of damage. The Cavalcade makes it four, and then you bring him out, the man, I can't find him because I'm just too much of a wimp. There is Thorbrin, Thorbrin, there's no H in there. There is Thorbrin, so you have one, two, three, four, five sources that deal one damage and Thorbrin makes it all three. Holy shit. That is amazing, that's like fucking turn 4 lethal damage. We have light up the stage, a pretty damn dope spell if you can cast it for the spectacle cost, which shouldn't be too, too hard in this deck. We have a ton of mountains, I think the Eldraine mountains, they look pretty dope, they're okay, I like them. We have devils, are these double sided? Yeah, these are double sided. We have devil tokens, we have an adventure token. And we have elemental tokens and some setters. Yeah, satyr. Satyr. It's satyr in German, so I don't know if it's satyr. Fuck my life. Who cares? Let's go for a sideboard. Fuck my life. That's pretty strong. Experimental frenzy. Experimental frenzy. Experimental. You may look at the top card of your library anytime you may play the top card of your library. You can't play cards from your hand. That's fucked up. You get three copies of that. Holy shit. Satyr's Cunning. Honestly, I really don't like this card. I'm gonna, gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna light my cigarettes with this. I'm gonna put it to the shredder. Shock is an amazing spell, but I fucking hate Kaladesh. So that artwork is just not my cup of tea. But it's a pretty dope card and it does pretty dope things. We have Slaying Fire. Deals three damage to any unfocused playing card. Deals three damage to any target. And if at least three red mana were spent to cast this spell, it deals 4 damage instead, so it's a 4 damage spell, always, in this deck. And we have Tibalt, the Rakish Instigator. I don't like these War of the Spark Planeswalkers who don't have plus abilities, but I think this one is pretty okay, especially in this deck. I'm going to give him a pass. And also, that picture looks fucking amazing and I like it and I'm absolutely going to upload it to Instagram. Thank you for watching. So I kind of forgot to film an outro to this, so I'm just gonna do it in my garden. Why the fuck not? I really want to thank Carson from Croco Games. He has sponsored this video. You can find his website at crocogames.com or 
de i don't know i'm going to link it in the description anyway you can find any kind of magic cards sleeves accessories from him i am slaving the challenger decks in the ultra pro matte sleeves which you can also buy from him at pretty cheap price he is good stuff he's a really friendly guy support him you should really check him out thanks a lot for watching thank you karsten and visit croco games <laughs>